bringing the people behind our food to life. Hi, I'm Catherine, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make pie crust. So we're going to start with two and a half cups of flour, to which we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm going to just give that a little bit of a stir. Now we're going to um, cut a half a cup of butter into small pieces. Just make it easier to cut that in with the pastry cutter. And we're going to add a half a cup of shortening. So now we're going to take our pastry cutter and cut all of this into the flour. So it's really important that your butter and your shortening are, are cold. Just take them out of the refrigerator right before you begin. We want to make sure that we don't overwork this, but that we get it to about these pea-sized chunks. doesn't have to be very uniform. You want those kind of bigger pieces of butter in there to melt. That gives it that nice flaky texture when it's baked. So we're pretty close to having about the uh, right texture here. Okay. So now we want to add a um, half a cup to three quarters of a cup of uh, ice water. Just make sure that you don't actually get any ice chunks in there. The um, ice water is important to prevent the butter from melting. We want it to melt when we actually put the pie into the oven. So another trick is, especially if your hand, if it's a warm day or if your hands are really warm, you can actually just dip them into the ice water to get them nice and cool before starting to work the dough. So again, you want to work quickly and uh, not knead this dough too much. So this uh, recipe is actually for a double crust. So you just want to make two and two balls out of it that you're then going to roll out. Okay, so that's good. And you can see how this is actually kind of even flaking in my hand. That's about the texture that you want this to be at. And before rolling them out, you're actually going to want to um, Put them into the uh, refrigerator for a short period of time. It allows the gluten to sort of relax. It'll make them easier to roll out. So now we're going to get some uh, flour onto our surface before rolling out the dough. Now we're going to take one of our balls and just kind of flatten it out a little bit. And actually just kind of flip it over to get flour on both of those surfaces. And even get a little bit on the um, rolling pin, and then just start rolling from the center out. And if it feels like it's sticking, just put a little bit more flour on your rolling pin. Now we can just Fold it over a couple of times. And fit it into the pie pan. So it's important to not stretch it. Just kind of fit it in there. And cut off the excess. And then just um, Kind of fold the ends under. Now we can use a fork just to press the edges down. 
So now your pie is uh, ready to be filled. And um, once you're ready to bake the pie, you put it into the oven at 425 degrees uh, for about 10 or 15 minutes just to have that high heat to really melt the butter and then lower it down to about 350 and um, continue baking the pie for maybe around a half hour just depending on what you have filled the pie with. Um, and keep an eye on your crust, um, on the sides of your crust if you only have the bottom layer and if you have the top layer also um, you're going to want to definitely keep an eye on it and make sure that you don't burn the crust and you can actually cover it with tin foil to prevent that from happening. And that's it.